Did you take care of him? He's not home. Then why are you... Why? <laughs> anyway. Am I still freezing? Yeah, your face doesn't look good. Oh. No, it's perfect. Uh, there's no problem right now. Okay. It was... Oh, uh, there's a storm. Oh. That's why it's cutting out all the time. I guess it's coming towards you because... I I'm going to refresh. I'll be right back. Okay. I don't even know am I in here or not. Hey. Hey guys, sorry, I was having some connection problems. Hopefully it's going to be okay now. Furkan, is it a little bit better? Not a little bit, this is really good. Oh, okay. Hmm. I just reset my Wi-Fi, but there's a fairly large scary storm, so I'm sorry. That's why. Yeah, um, and it's cutting out again. It's, uh, it's not unstable. It's not stable. Why did you block me in the previous class? It's just joking. Just because um, I knew that. Can I turn my bandwidth down? Is that okay? Can you still see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Can you try to can, move it? Can you hear me? Fine. Yeah, I can't hear you. Okay. There's well, no I'll just that. I'll just stay on screen share if uh, I can. Actually, when you're not screen sharing, your sound is not that bad. Like. It's sometimes oh, it's just like a video. Yeah. Okay. Um hello. Hi Onir. Hi Sam. How are you? Good thanks. How are you? Uh I'm fine. Uh I have no time. Uh I have just uh five minutes. Just um joined to ask something. Oh uh, sure. I yeah, I found a, a baby pigeon. Pigeon, you, right? You pigeon. found what, sorry? Pigeon. Pigeon, pigeon, pigeon. A pigeon. pigeon. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I uh, watched uh, lately a YouTube video, but uh, there was t uh, four ingredients. But just um, I understand two of them. One of them, sunflowers, one of okay. them, Susan. Ya Susan öyle mi denir Furkan? Sesame. Sesame, sesame, right. Uh, eğer problem olmazsa diyeceğim. Furkan, sen izleyebilir misin? Direkt hiç uğraştırmayayım ben Semi ya. Okay. Şey atsam sana. <gülüyor> tamam, thanks. Um, What's going on? <gülüyor> <gülüyor> sorry for that, sorry for that. I, I, I am so stressed. Uh, last night, uh, he or it will die, uh, it will die, but um, some way I um, I learned a feeding system with a um, um, with a, a tools, a special tools, and now he is okay, it is okay, but uh, I am just feeding it uh, with a one ingredient, but I have to enrich the uh, feeding. So I add this. Sorry, did you have a question? What was your question? Um, in that video, uh, the woman described the um, feeding, um, the feed. Mm -hmm. uh, the, mm -hmm. There, there is uh, four kind of ingredients. One of them, uh, mm -hmm. susami, susami, sesame. One of them Sesame. sunflower, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are uh, two more. But I, I I could not I could not understand the exact uh, name. Oh okay. Um. Hmm. Where?
can you find the words in the video and then give them to me? Because I, I can watch it after class, but I don't have time to watch it right okay, now. Okay, 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 okay. Just find the words and then we can uh, translate them for it you. <laughs> tells it in the description. It says, picking up... Oh. Says it Sorry? in the description. Uh, Actually, I don't uh, also bother you. Oh, sunflower and seeds, come back. sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, brown rice, and homemade bread, moistened brown, with water. Brown rice. Mhm. Mm sunflower seeds, sesame mm -hmm. seeds, brown rice. So mm -hmm. like whole grain rice. Okay. And homemade bread. Um, you could probably just buy organic bread, <laughs> and then okay. put it into a mortar and pestle and mush it around with water. Uh huh. Thank you so much. Okay. I have a mission. <laughs> uh, tomorrow I Your will join the lesson. Yeah, yeah. Your mission is save baby pigeon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Sam. Thanks. Thanks. See you. See you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Also, also Furkan left the section. Yeah, he did. He's. I don't know if it's his connection, but he usually comes back. Okay. Okay. See you soon. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Okay. Bye. See you. Bye. Sorry, I lost my connection. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, so it's just us. Woo! Uh, let's do the crossword puzzle, and then we'll just listen to some music. We can listen to the stuff that you found. Did you go through and make sure there's no swear words? Yeah, of course. I mm. don't think they all swearing because I was checking the singers, not you know some singers like Jay Jay Z yeah, or whatever. Yeah, Darius Rucker and yeah. Pink. Okay, cool. Yeah, sounds good. Is there lots of slang? I guess, I don't know. I just try to find long lyrics instead of just picking up some, you know. There, some lyrics are just repeating themselves. So mm -hmm. they don't. But your uh, songs might yeah, be I'm better. Sure. Let's, we'll do Darius Rucker first, and then we'll see what we have time for after. <laughs> okay. Let's do our crossword. Um, I can't see you. I turned my bandwidth down. Ah. Uh, you can increase it. I don't mind if you are choppy. Okay. Can you can you hear me now? Yeah. There's no problem. Okay. Well, the it stopped thundering and lightning, so uh, <laughs> it's probably. I mean, it's definitely because of the storm, because no one else is home. <laughs> oh but yeah. That's all right. Um. Uh, okay. Let's do number one. If you have information, but you do not want to reveal who told you it. You can say a blank bird. A little bird. bird told me. A little bird. <laughs> can you do that accent at least a five or five minutes? I'll do it a few times. Okay. Now, an early blank. <laughs> Someone who likes to get up early. Mm-hmm. You know, this okay. is the English side, so. Number three? You. If you blank out, it means you're spending a lot of money. Hmm. Can't give a word. S oh, is that bl split? Splash. Yeah. So this would be the British way to say it. Yeah. If you splash out, the American way would be if you splurge on something. Uh -huh. Have you heard that before? Yeah. I'm not that used to hearing British verbs. They're different. Yeah, so Splash out on something is is uh, blowing your money on something you don't need. To splurge on something is the Amer same thing, but that's the more yeah. North American way to say. Uh, number four, the expression <laughs> "one blank short of a picnic." Uh, is the British way again? 
Uh, no, not really. It's just uh, can be used in a humorous way to refer oh, to someone who's crazy or stupid. Sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, there was a website, there was a forum that there was a way to tell a person who is stupid. For example, uh, that spinning wheel is turning, but there's no hamster, or hamster is dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> but the hamster is dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what it means. Yeah. I'm lots better than that. Like, mm, there's a hamburger missing in your, or there's uh, one hamburger short in your Happy Meal. And lots of other things. <laughs> one burger short of a Happy Meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What else? There's the, not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Oh, well, that's cliche. I know. Actually, I bookmarked it. I can find it in uh, in five minutes, I guess. Yeah, we'll look through it after. <laughs> Okay, what about next one? Um, if someone has a blank of gold, they're very kind and helpful. Heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found it. Okay, number six. You scratch my blank. Back. And, yeah. And you will have a strong back. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll scratch yours. Number seven. <laughs> if someone bad. is as good as... Uh... Blank. They're very well behaved. As good as what? An animal? I still don't know. Gold? Yeah, good as gold. Really? Never heard this one? No. So if you're as good as gold, as a person, that means you're well behaved. Um, you can also say that a thing is as good as gold, or like a food. Mm -hmm. It's an expression, but usually it means that you're very kind and a good person, good as well. Oh, Which doesn't really make any sense, does it? <laughs> no, that's no. rough. Okay, what about number eight? A whole new ball... Uh, game. Yeah, whole new ball game. Situation different from anything that has happened before. Number... <laughs> mm, oh, that was eight. Number nine? If something drives you up the... Uh, wire? No. Wire? No. <laughs> I don't know. Wall. <laughs> Drives you up the wall. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, you're driving me up the wall. You're driving me crazy, right? So if it drives you up the wall, it makes you very irritated and angry. I was thinking of off the wall, not up the wall. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, ten. To give someone a blank hand. is, yeah, give them assistance or help. And you would ask, do you need a hand, right? Do you need a hand? Or can we say, like, give them a handing, helping hand? Yeah, helping hand. Mm -hmm. Or you can just say hand, whatever. Whatever. Um, <laughs> whatever. Okay, did you see that link that I sent you? No, okay. Should we look at it? Yeah, there are really funny ones. Okay. I guess I looked at it three or four months ago. I didn't understand some of them. Now I checked them. All of them are really funny. 40 ways to describe an idiot. I could choose a, a few of them. A few fries short of a Happy Meal. Yeah. A few beers short of a six-pack. <laughs> Dumber than a box of hair. <laughs> Chimneys clogged. Oh, you've got a ch clogged chimney. <laughs> All foam, no beer. <laughs> Uh, what else? Several nuts short of a full pouch. <laughs> I don't what understand else? this one. Which, surfing in Nebraska? Where's Nebraska? I guess it's uh, not somewhere you can surf. Uh, yeah. Now I think I'm surfing in Nebraska right now. <laughs> um, has an IQ of two, but it takes three to grunt. <laughs> that one's awesome. <laughs> Objects in the mirror are dumber than they appear. <laughs> Do you understand where that one comes from? Yeah, I know. In the car. Yeah. You know, that's rear view mirror. Mm -hmm. One more. His antenna doesn't get all the channels. <laughs> You're awesome. One Fruit Loop shy of a full bowl. <laughs> These are hilarious. Maybe one. I, I want to read them all. One more. His elevator doesn't go all the way to the top floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Um. All right. Let's do 
our next thing. So we'll unscramble and you can make sentences and oh. then we'll listen to some music. <laughs> I forgot all of us off in my third You forgot question. all of them? <laughs> of course. Okay. Little. Oh yeah, little. Little? Yeah. What's the question? For example, a little bit told me that you are going to um, enroll a new course in Birmingham. Indeed. Good. <laughs> Number two? Mm, bird. Mm-hmm. What was that expression? An early bird, right? Yep. Okay. He is used to wake up at 6 a.m. Indeed, he's an early bird. Good. Uh, number three? Splash, the, right? Yeah. And what was the American version? Splurge. Um, if I go to a mall with you, probably you're going to splurge your money on shoes. I would never do that. I know. I'm just teasing. Just kidding. I would do that. Um, <laughs> number four? I don't know. I can't figure out. Nyak Shadow. Well, yeah, that helps. You're welcome. Come mm. on. <laughs> I really don't know. Scratch. Sandwich. Oh, oh yeah, sandwich. It was see. like one sandwich short. And the baskets, picnic baskets. Yeah, one sandwich short of a picnic. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, the first time I saw them, I realized that there was a sandwich short of the picnic. Yes, you would say that. I realized that he was one sandwich short of the picnic. Oh. Short of a picnic. Let's see. Back? No, Earth. It drew looks like Earth and it works, but heart. Heart, yeah. Uh, uh, my mom has a heart of gold. Good. My mom has a heart of gold. Number six. Um, we are, uh, we are on the same ship. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Good. Number seven. Gold. Yeah. You are as good as gold. <laughs> what does it mean? Well behaved. Mm -hmm. Kind hearted. Oh, um, and kind hearted? Yeah, it can mean anything. If you're if you're good, it means you're a good person. So mm -hmm. you could be nice, well behaved. What about number eight? Okay. Game. When I asked her about that topic, he said it is another wall game. Yeah, and it's a, a whole new topic. ball game. Whole new ball game. Uh, whenever I talk to her. She keeps uh, driving me up to the wall. Yeah, perfect. And the last one, hand. Mm -hmm. uh, I can give you a hand on that job. I can give you a hand with that job. With? Okay. Yeah, you give someone a hand with something. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, that's it. There is Time one for... Yeah, before <laughs> music. But I don't know if it's appropriate. Uh... 40 That's ways of saying someone is cutting the cheese. That's not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> but they're really funny. You can still give me the link, though, and I'll okay. look afterwards. Yeah, I'll find the link for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So you said you had five songs. You only gave... Yeah. How many did I give you? Two. Give you. Not two. Three? Look at the list. There's yeah, there are three. two lyrics, pages, and a YouTube link. Um, yeah. So let's do a wagon wheel. Okay. Um, let's just, do you want to just watch it and uh, mute ourselves rather than using the app? It doesn't matter. If it's good for you, I can't do that.
So if, for those of you watching, you just have to listen to the song and look for slang in the song. And we're going to talk about the slang afterwards. Hi, Jairo. Hi, Onir. Hi, again. 
you guys uh, joined while we were in the middle of a song. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just listening to a song. We're going to talk about the lyrics a bit now, and then we'll listen to another one. So lots of music. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, Furkan and um, Gyro and Nerd, do you guys see any slang, any expressions? In Probably the first... thumbing my way into North Carolina. Probably yeah. heading, right? Thumbing my way? Sorry? Yeah. Is it heading mm. or making my way? No, it's actually literal. Thumbing your way. Oh, like this? Hitchhiking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Do you, like, yeah. stick your thumb out? That's like... hitchhiking. It's a slang to say you're thumbing. <laughs> I was thumbing my way. Means I was hit... Do you guys know what hitchhiking means? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. When you stick out your thumb on the side of the road and you're like, guys, please pick me up. <laughs> I need a ride. <laughs> Hoping someone will take pity on you. So thumbing my way. Um, what else? Any other expressions in the first paragraph or the first um, verse? What is dogwood flowers? I will show you. Thank you. It's a type of flower. Yeah, I figured. Mm -hmm. Like this. They grow in the wild. Oh, yeah. I guess I saw them, but I didn't know. Actually, I don't mm. understand why it's dark wood. Mm, I don't know why that's the name of it, of that particular flower. But that's what it's called. Dogwood flowers. Picking me a bouquet. Picking me. So this is kind of slang that we use. You verb yourself something. So I'm picking me some flowers. I'm eating me some pizza. I'm <laughs> drinking me some beer. <laughs> it's like a very like country sort of slang. So like verb, verbing me some whatever or or her. So verbing and then your subject. Um, she's getting her a good tan. It's awful English. Okay, it's <laughs> just like. It's straight slang. So he's picking him some flowers. Yeah. Uh, Samantha, what is pressure? Doggy, doggy word. Dog wood. Dog wood. It's actually a, it's a type of flower. See? It's a dogwood yeah. flower. Mm, okay. And they grow in the wild a lot. I wonder mm. if there's a story behind them. This is practical. Mm. Uh, Plus ing and some someone something. Yeah, when you're like, I'm eating me a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm That's eating right. me some pizza. <laughs> I'm I'm picking me some flowers. Right? It's really poor English, but it's like country <laughs> slang kind of. Mm -hmm. Right. Practical. Awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, butchering it. Yeah, you're doing things all backwards. <laughs> and here's another one. I'm a hopin' for Ray Lee. I'm a hopin'. I'm a hopin', I'm a wishin', I'm a prayin'. You'll hear that. I'm a I'm a wishin'. Why do you say I'm a I'm a I mean, just I'm hoping. Anyway, I will never understand those hillbillies. Again <laughs> Again it's slang, right? I'm a hopin' for Ray Lee. I can see my baby tonight. Um, yeah. Staring up at the road and pray to God I see the headlights. I make it down down the coast. Okay. So rock me mama like a wagon wheel. What's a wagon wheel? It's like wagon. Yeah, literally. A wagon. A wheel of a wagon, right? <laughs> so if you picture it, like, um, like this, like an old wagon wheel, right? Yeah. Um, it's very bumpy and rocky when you're riding on something like that, not very smooth. So that's the expression he's kind of using, rock me like a wagon wheel. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Go to the next verse. Any slang, any expressions in here? Um, Failure. So rock me, mom. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. There's... Um, what what is he trying to say exactly? Like, 
Okay, but not literally, so. right? So what do you think he means figuratively by when he's saying rock me? Um, let me see. Have you heard the expression rock my world? I guess so. Yeah. yeah. So he's Why saying, you know, come in and and make my life all crazy, mix me up, rock uh, me, up. rock my uh, world. Okay. So he's okay. using this completely as an expression, a metaphor. Okay, rock me like a wagon wheel. There's rock no me. wagon wheel. Okay, it's <laughs> it's just an expression that he's created. Yeah, but um, uh, the clip was on a railway. Yeah, so he's he's using the metaphor um, for yeah. his video, right? Um, rock me like the wind and the rain. Rock me like the southbound train. These are all rocky things, right? Yeah. So he's using them as metaphors, right? And he keeps moving to somewhere. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. What about the next verse? Hmm. String. Yeah, yeah. I know that one. Which one? Oh, look! Keep a getting me down. Yeah, Again, there's another A, right? Yeah. Keep a getting me down. Keep a getting right. Here's ain't. I ain't turning back. <laughs> to live that old life no more. <laughs> anymore. Anymore. Right. Another yeah. thing we often use in slang. In uh, country slang, particularly, uh, I ain't gonna do it no more, right? No more right. means anymore. Yeah, and, and they sometimes say like he don't, she don't. He don't. Yeah, he don't want to do it no more. Oh God, mm -hmm. he don't. He he ain't gonna not do it no more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's all slang and it's um, not not proper English, but it's it's lyrics, right? So it's normal. Running from the cold up in New England, I was born to be a fiddler in an old-time string band. What's a fiddler? Like a uh, troublemaker. Um, actually, it's it's someone who plays a fiddle. What? Like I'll just say. <laughs> oh yeah. A fiddler, like literally a, a one who fiddles, <laughs> <laughs> right? It's playing the fiddle. So. He's saying, born to be a fiddler in a string band. My baby plays a guitar. I pick a banjo now. Uh, lost, lost my money playing poker. Had to leave town. And then we've got the chorus again. And then our next verse. Mm. What does this mean? To have a nice long toke. Toke. I don't know. Toke is a verb that we use to talk about pot, marijuana. Oh. Um, sometimes they also use it to talk about just a cigarette, but a toke is when you take a puff, like, it's a toke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, had a nice long toke. <laughs> um, it, he could be talking about weed, he could be talking about just a cigarette, a smoke. Um, he is a heading west, again, a heading west. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I gotta get a move on. What does that mean? I gotta get a move on. I uh, get moving. I should get, get moving. moving. Yep. Hurry up, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, Onur, how's the baby pigeon? Did you make some food? Um, there, there's a, a shop oh, which okay. sells ingredients near uh, near at my home, near my mm -hmm. home. Uh, mm -hmm. after. I talked. Uh, I ran the shop, but uh, it's not open. It oh. was not open, so I returned and joined the class. Okay. I was gonna say you you made that food very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I hear my baby calling my name. If I die, at least I'll die free. And I think the rest is just the chorus. Yeah. Cool. New song maybe. <laughs> Sure, new song. I gotta another choose one? Pink, um, maybe Freedom from Django. Sure, where's that? You can't find it. There's no cuss words in it, so no problem. Or, um, yeah, you should choose it. Pink or Freedom. I'm just looking for the lyrics. Is there not enough slang words? There's not really anything, no. Actually, um, maybe... Uh, 100 Coffins, again another song from Django, but I'm not sure if there's any swear word in it. 
where's your pink you had? Uh, give me can... a reason. Give me a reason, just give me a reason. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Did you find it? I guess Maybe you listen, listen to it like a thousand times. Pretty much. Are you sure you don't want to do Weird Al White and Nerdy? Because that one's pretty good. We can do it. I, I'm not sure how it is. I don't remember Lily. that I listened to it. My Weird Al is Weird, Weird Al Yankovic. Um, okay, here we go. Samantha? Samantha? Gyro? Oi. Uh, <laughs> because I heard the special, uh, Don't Let Me Down, but I, I see it in this um, store. Uh, Get me down. What it means? Get me down. Wait, just keep a get me down. Get me down. <laughs> yes. If you say that something is getting you down, it means it's making you sad. It's pulling you your emotions down, making you sad or depressed. That's to get you down. Um, don't let me down means um, can I count on you? I hope. If if I can count on you, you won't let me down. So it's to trust someone to follow through with something. So huh? get me down means um upsetting you. Upset. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so pink? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I gave you guys the YouTube link, I think. I think I link. <laughs> I'll put it in the YouTube in the YouTube tab this time since we've got some more people. Okay. I'm just adding. You guys want to follow along? Uh, just click on the YouTube tab over at the left and um, I'll keep the lyrics up on my screen. Okay.
That's pretty much it. And then they just keep saying the same thing <laughs> a bunch of times. <laughs> so we can stop it there. Um, let's go back up to the top. Um, so right from the start, you were a thief. You stole my heart. And I, your willing victim. What does this mean exactly? Your willing victim? Uh... What did she say? Oh, that can explain it, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, probably she loves, she loves him, mm -hmm. and guess figuratively saying she's figuratively saying that he stole his heart, but she was ready to give her, ready to give him his heart. So she was victim, but she wanted to be like that. Yeah, exactly. So a willing victim. It's kind of hmm, um, contradictory <laughs> a little bit because yeah. um, usually if you're a victim, um, that means it was unwilling. That's kind of implied, but um, they're saying a willing victim here. I let you see the parts of me that weren't all that pretty, and with every touch you fi fixed them. <laughs> um, what is she talking about here? She mean physically, like that she's ugly? Or what does she mean? Mm. I guess she's talking again figuratively. Mm -hmm. mm. It's related with your. Uh, it's related with her character. Yeah, right? exactly. Um, her character. So it's, it's like, more about yeah. that. Yeah, there's something wrong with her. Like maybe she's very angry or something, and um, yeah. he was fixing her. Is it like you're completing me, right? You complete me. <laughs> yeah, like that. Um, now, you've been talking in your sleep. <laughs> does, does anyone talk in their sleep? <laughs> uh, just once or twice. I, I don't think so. No. <laughs> it's I do. so embarrassing, though. I know. You know. If there's a friend around here and... If they hear, if if you talk about something that is important or secret, that will be really embarrassing. Mhm. Mm um, I've been told that I talk in my sleep. Um, I say really weird things. <laughs> <laughs> like I once said that I stepped on a mushroom, and that I was falling, <laughs> and then someone woke me up and they said, "Are you okay?" <laughs> You're telling us that you stepped on mushrooms. <laughs> like, what? Um. So what about this part? Just a second. We're not broken, just bent. Why are she using broken here? It's not ant. It's not an ant. Yeah. Um, broken, we talk about being broken hearted, right? Yeah. So she's saying our hearts aren't broken. They're just bent a little bit. <laughs> so we can mend them, right? Um, it's been written in the scars on our hearts. So <laughs> What does this mean? Which one? Your head is running wild again. Um, You're going bananas. You want to, you want to be alone. Mhm. Mm yeah. So if your head is running oh, sure. wild, um, it, it's talking about your thoughts, right? Um, you can't stop thinking. You're overthinking things. You're thinking about crazy things, like calm down, right? That's what he's saying. Your head's running wild again. Just relax. It's all its all in your mind. It's another way to say you're thinking about things that aren't really true. You're just creating problems. It's all in your head. Mm -hmm. Were you going to say something? I was thinking an expression. I forgot. Like worry words, maybe? Yeah, if you're a worry wart, mm hmm Yeah. So you're you're overthinking things. That's how we usually say it. You're you're overthinking things. Um I'm gonna scroll down to this part. Our tear ducts can rust. What on earth is she talking about here? <laughs> what are your tear ducts? Tear ducts. Where is it? You can't see it. your screen just like stuck. Mm. It's stuck? Or is there a delay? Because it's not moving. Stuck. 
Okay, could you try to screen share again? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, our tier okay. dots. Oh, if it can't rust, it must be a metal, right? Okay, mm what are your tear ducts? Is it this part, like when you cry? Yeah. The source of that? Yeah, exactly. Your tear ducts are like right here, and then uh -huh. they go up to wherever your tears come from. Those are your <laughs> tear ducts, right? Um, so our tear ducts can rust. What does that mean? Like after you use them a lot, they don't work. Yeah, if something's rusty, right? It means it's not working anymore. It's ruined, right? Um, usually, when things get wet and then you leave them to sit outside, they become rusty, right? Like mm -hmm. a car or whatever. Um, so they're saying our tear ducts can rust. I'll fix it for us. <laughs> um, we're collecting dust, but love's enough. What does he mean by we're collecting dust? Hmm. Is it the dust that we know? I don't think so. But hmm. Um. She. Hmm. She. She is thinking. She is thinking. About. Uh, earlier. Mhm. Mm oh, yeah. we're Oh yeah, I remember that. What does that expression mean? You do you remember collecting dust? Like when you uh, leave somewhere, something somewhere, and it it gathers dust, right? Yeah, it got, really collects really dust. Attention. So yeah. like you haven't read your book in years, it's collecting dust. So they're using yeah. that as another expression. It means it's getting dusty because no one ever cleans it or opens it. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I think the rest is just the chorus, right? Yeah. So that's it. Um, we probably have time for one more song. Okay. By the way, this don't open that one. <laughs> this no. Is an inappropriate thing. I won't. I can. Can I suggest it? Sure. On your. Okay. Um. I am adding the link. What song? Okay. Ah, oh, you're just finding. Um, song is. No, no. Um. Uh, 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 settle down, settle down, Kimbra, Kimbra, settle down, um, settle down. Hmm. You find the. Okay. I'll put it on YouTube. And then hopefully we'll have a minute or two to talk about it. Okay?
Okay, I have to pause it. <laughs> um, so we don't really have time to look too much at what they're saying, but what did you guys think of this song? Do you like it? Do you like the style of music? Yeah. <laughs> She's going to settle down. She's going to settle down. I think so. Yeah, that's that's what's happening. <laughs> oh, Nur, uh, what do you like about this song? Sorry? What do you like about this song? The energy. Um, also, um, I love Kimbra. And also, the sound is very... Um, I don't know how I say it. Yeah. Up Sound is very uh, energetic. <laughs> yeah. Up, yeah. Up B, you could say? Up B, energetic. Energetic. Mm -hmm. Energetic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Furkan, did you like this song? Mm hmm. <laughs> what do you like about it? I don't know. You can't explain why you liked things, but I like I really like her voice. Oh. Yeah. You can like her voice, but I like the style more than her voice. If I like, if I really listen to someone's voice, I would choose Adele. Oh, okay. Yeah, Adele's pretty amazing. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Gyro, did you like this song? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is this like your favorite style of music, or do you, what did you think? More or less. Okay, cool. <laughs> so something upbeat. Because uh, uh, in the song I see the you always use the expression a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, a <laughs> uh, little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Uh, in the song I see, I can uh, I understand more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit more. <laughs> a little. Bit. Uh, this uh, because I don't know if you live in Canada or English or in US. Because actually, I never heard before this expression a little bit in English. Uh, I don't know if you only in, in Canada use it. In Canada? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, we use it all the time, a little bit, all yeah. the time, yeah. So I could say I like this song a little bit more than that song. Mm, okay, good. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, well, thanks for joining, guys. Um, I'm teaching the next class as well um, we're doing some pronunciation so come hang out with us if you want to read a news article and practice your pronouncing okay okay cool Bye. thanks guys see you soon Thank